We took 52 uh, geographers from year 10 through to upper six and it was really to sort of let them see the, the awe and wonder of the natural world. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the classroom learning about tectonics, learning about waterfalls and how waterfalls are formed and, and the chance to actually see the, the sheer force of, of the water, to see the glaciers retreating, the impacts of climate change, to see the areas where the land was being split apart and lava was rising up through them. Um, it was a, a once in a lifetime opportunity really. Topping it off was, was, was seeing the Northern Lights because it, that isn't something that we, we had budgeted for, that wasn't something we, we could expect to see. So behind us here we see a naturally occurring geothermal hot spring where the heat from below is causing the water to steam. My favourite bit of the Iceland trip was um, actually seeing the Northern Lights. It's usually a once in a lifetime opportunity, but we managed to see it, what was it, three? The three out of three four, times, yeah. three out of four nights. It was amazing. The first time we saw the Northern Lights, the bus driver pointed them out to us, and we all thought it was a cloud originally because they don't show up that green at first. It takes a while for your eyes to get used to it. And then we all started running inside because it was Mr. Green's number one thing on his bucket list to be able to see. So we all ran in and we were shouting, Mr. Green, Mr. Green, it's the Northern Lights. And then he sprinted outside. And I think that was the first time I've ever seen a teacher run so fast. When they first appeared, everyone was trying to take loads of photos and it took a very long time to get them because they were changing every five or six seconds. I took some of these. Um, that took a very long time and I only managed to get it because I walked into the darkness to get it. <laughs> Couldn't see me for a while because I was just... You had to set your camera to a certain setting and then you had to hold it still in the dark setting so that it, like, it took ages to like, develop the photo on the camera. So you just had to hold it still but it was so cold, everyone's hands were just shaking. <laughs> I feel really privileged having seen the Northern Lights, family, friends and that they've been multiple times and they've never seen them. And it's the same with Mr. Green, it's taken him 16 <laughs> years to see the Northern Lights, which is longer than I've been alive, <laughs> but we managed on the first try, so I feel really happy. What do you think, Mr. Nagui? Good, very good. Nice and fresh. Do you get many of these in Australia? We do. My favourite part of the trip was going to the Blue Lagoon. It was a very popular tourist destination. It's a geothermal pool and it's man-made but it's full of natural seawater and it is heated by the geothermal power. I really enjoyed it because of the scenery, it was really beautiful. But there were so many mountains around and you could see the glaciers from being in the Blue Lagoon and there was snow everywhere so that was really nice. Uh, we also did the swim up bar, so we put the face masks on our face and that was really funny to see everybody with the face masks on. There was also a waterfall in the Blue Lagoon and you could stand under it, although it's not a bit of sulphur. So. <laughs> Thank you.
volcanoes up there. It's a fissure volcano, so it's a long crack that the magma comes through, so both on the left, all the way to the right, and the streams of lava coming down off the map. There's the scars where it came down off the volcano. 